Hello, this is Steve McGuire, and today I'm going to be setting up two inflatables. Uh, they're both going to be for Halloween. I'm going to be setting up a pumpkin, and I'm going to be setting up a ghost. So let's go ahead and go get them. Let me grab the camera here. Okay, keep all the inflatables here in the garage. So here we go. If we look up here, you can see in the list of inflatables, I have I grab that one. And we'll make sure that it has some of the parts in it that we need. Okay, so spare light bulbs, uh, some of the stakes that we have, so I'll just make sure that. We'll grab that one. Let's go ahead and set that one up first, and then I will come back up here for the ghost, and later for Christmas, we'll set up some of the other ones. So here we go. Coming out. We're gonna set it up right here in the front yard. And as always, we're going, let me just step back here. We're going to put it in front of the house here. And as always, uh, we need electrical for these. So what I always advise is getting one of these. This is a, an outdoor electrical plug designed specifically for these. It has fuses in it. And you see the cord runs out here and I have it running to a, a light at the house. So uh, that's one of the first things I recommend. I'm going to be plugging both a pumpkin and a ghost into this. I'm going to set the ghost up first. And I'm going to set the ghost up over on the side over here. And so let's start taking stuff out. So first we take out the spare bulbs in case we need it. And the stakes to keep it down. And then from there it's pretty simple. You just pull the inflatable out. And it's pretty much all work the same. I've set up a lot of these. Uh, and they all pretty much work the same. They all have a blower here. This is the bottom of it. And the legs snap out like this. And there's a blower. Okay? So the blower is what uh, inflates the ghost and it blows up. So one of the things is you see the zipper here. You have to make sure that the zippers are all closed. At the end of the season, you unzip that, and that's how you deflate your inflatable. So let's take a look at this, and we'll straighten it out so it's facing towards the front. And it looks like I've got it facing towards the front there. We can see all the stuff. And what I always like to do, just as a starter, is I like to plug it in and just have it blow up a little bit and just see uh, if it's oriented correctly. And then we'll take it from there. So here I'm gonna plug it in. And I'm not gonna blow it all the way up. I'm gonna plug it in. Get it right here. Okay, come back around here. And we can see that the ghost is inflating. And of course, once it's inflated, we need to deflate it a bit, and then we will put the stakes in to hold it down. I'll come around different things. Come over here, and I will just fluff it. There's its head to give it a little bit of a thing. So I can see that Probably not going to be coming up at the right angle, but let's see. I'll grab it and just... Well, that might be okay, actually. So it's looking like it's going to point right out into the driveway. So let me go ahead and I will go ahead and unplug this for now. And then I will go over here and you can see the, the feet are off the ground here. So what we do, it's very simple. We just go and we unwrap these and we take out some of the stakes. And I have different kinds of stakes in here. Your kit will come with different ones. But the ones I'm looking for, these are typically for lines, and I'm going to be putting these lines out in just a minute. These are tethers to hold the ghost up straight so it doesn't fall over in the wind. So those big ones are used like that to hold the base in the ground. We usually use little tiny ones, skinny ones. These are also tethers, these coiled ones. But these little guys like this, these are used here in the feet. And so 
you just stick them in the feet. There's a hole in the foot, if you look. You just stick them in the hole, and there's a hook on the end, and you drive them down, and that keeps it mounted in the ground. You can step on it. Okay, so that's one. So let me grab another one here, and I will go do another foot right here. So usually this is pretty simple. You can set one of these up if you've done it in a while and you're using both hands. You can actually set one of these up in probably less than five minutes. So I've got two more here. We'll come around to the back of the ghost. So here's another foot right here. Right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pin in on that one. Push that down. There we go. And then there's one left. Let's see if we can find it. Get the ghost out of the way. And it's right over here. I don't know if you can see that. There it is right there. So let's go ahead and put the pin in on that. Then we will go ahead and turn the power back on. Okay. And now the blower is anchored in the ground. So now let's go plug the ghost back in. There we go. It'll only take a minute for it to blow up. Stand back while it's doing it. There we go. Kids in the neighborhood always like to see these go up. There's a neighborhood kid across the street that every morning you know he comes out and he says the ghost is down the ghost is down and i plug it in before i uh, start the day and you'll hear him yelling the ghost is up the ghost is up so <laughs> he's going to be excited that the ghost is up today so here we go that should inflate all the way up without any problem but again, you can see how tippy it is because if any wind comes along, it's just going to knock it right over. And judging from the way it's leaning, one of the feet might uh, not be holding properly. So let's go take a look real quick. But that could just be because there's a slight breeze here. So no, the, the leg is in fact in. So this is a perfect example here of why you have these tethers. And these tethers if we pull one way back here and I pull on it, you can see how that will anchor. And you can see there's two of these on each side. So this is what we do. We come over here and we use these. These are pretty big. You can see there's a hook on there. So we go over to the tether right here. And on the end of the tether is a loop. Okay. So you can see I've looped the tether line around there. And now what you want to do is you want to walk away from the inflatable with the loop facing away from the, from the inflatable so that it doesn't pull off its hook. So here we go. So it's going to go down here and it's straightened up. And hey there, we're going to press this in the ground and that's going to hold it solid in one direction. Now we're going to go over, we're going to grab another one. Let's see if we have it. Okay, I don't have another of that type. So I'm going to use one of these screw type to hold it down. And you can use either one of these. They just are slightly different design. So I'm going to come over here, grab the other tether, hook this so it's like that. And then we're just going to go and we're going to put this in the ground, pulling it back. You can see we're going to pull it at different angles. And we're going to then in the ground here, we're going to put it in and we're just going to screw it in to the ground. And that only takes a second. Now we do that. So we go back and we grab two more of those here. Here's another one. And then here's the final one. So we've got two more of these. And then we come over to the other side and we have two more tethers on this side. So let me just go ahead and tether that down really quickly and then I'll show you the final result. Okay, so there's one tether down. Let me do the final tether here. 
We're going to pull it this way so that the ghost is nice up and straight. And we're going to pull it down taut. So here we go. Okay, and there you have it. Let's go down to the street and see how it looks. You can see there the ghost is up. It's tethered to the ground so the wind is uh, not going to blow it over. And uh, that's the ghost up. So it's pretty simple on how to do this. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pumpkin right next to it. And I'm going to save that for another video. So this is Steve McGuire from Cincinnati, Ohio. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back at you with the ghost. Bye-bye for now.